The electric meter should have been sealed. We only have one ground and the grounding rod's not properly buried and you'll see that in an upcoming video about the condensing unit. This also is the garage north wall. That was the garage exterior. This is the garage interior wall. This is the load center. Some people call it the breaker box, electric service panel, call it what you will. <clears throat> this panel, okay, when it's labeled, it's not supposed to be labeled handwritten, all right? It's not supposed to be handwritten like that. It's supposed to be printed where it says warning or danger or square D. That's printing, not handwritten, not handwritten. I didn't make that up, all right? It says here the AC, which by the way, in the AC video, we're gonna find out that it's 50 amp and we got a 60 amp fuse, so this fuse, for the condensing unit, the HVAC condensing unit is overfused. It's larger than the manufacturer specified. Also, this wire coming in here, this cable, that white cable, it's a white hot. Okay, it's supposed to be wrapped with black tape. If you don't know that's hot, you don't belong in this cabinet. I get that. It's supposed to be wrapped with black tape. This is L1 and L2 coming into the cabinet. This is your main neutral. It's supposed to be wrapped with white tape. And if you don't know that's the main neutral, again, you, you don't belong in the cabinet. Now it's nice that we've added a single phase surge current protector in here, but that box is not supposed to be mounted inside of this cabinet. And it's not supposed to be double, it's not supposed to be double lugged into the, uh, th these lugs were not designed for double lugging. Now, this home is old enough, it probably wasn't required, but there should be neoprene as a safety device. If you don't know that's hot and you don't know that's hot, you don't know these are hot, you don't belong in this cabinet. There should be neoprene covers over both of these, L1 and L2, coming into the cabinet. All these wires, in case you see the L1 and L2 coming into the cabinet, comes in through this big, some people call them twist outs, knockouts, call it what you will. We don't know where this cabinet was going to go, so we installed several of these knockouts so that we could put the cabinet in just about every home. Now we have all these other little ones. See those little ones right there? Those are for these wires right here. But no, somebody decided it'd be a good idea. Just knock out one of those big knockouts and bring all these in. This is called bundling. It's very common. Even the explanation, the illustration that I have baked into the report is somewhat apologetic for that. I hate discounting my work. But sometimes, I mean, you know, for the relative, um, you know, the difference in the uh, cost of the house, safety of the house, those kinds of things, sometimes the cure is worse than the ill. You know, it's, it's basically it's been done. If you replace the cabinet, yes, it should be replaced correctly. Hey, there you go. Going off on that? Let's see. Because I'm touching it? I don't know. <laughs> Over here, we have ground wires. You can double lug a ground wire. These neutral wires are hot. You should not double lug your neutral wires. We got double lug neutrals. Got a white hot. What else have we got? Oh, this cabinet was screwed in place. All right, they're supposed to be nailed into place. All right, nails have much more shear strength. If this house experiences a tornado, this garage gets blown up, well, you know, you already got a bad day. I get that. You've already got a bad day, but if it was nailed into place instead of screwed into place, maybe this cabinet won't pop out in the middle of the floor. Maybe it'll stay with some of the framing members or something. And so when the first responder comes in, they don't have to step over the sparking box. Maybe that's the case. It's 115... 150 amp box is copper to copper. We got that. So what did we learn? We learned that our grounding rod is not properly buried. Our meter is not properly sealed. We learned that our cabinet was improperly screwed into place. We learned that our breakers were written handwritten instead of printed. We learned that our air conditioning circuit is too large. We learned that we got white hots. We learned that we got double lug neutrals. We learned that we've got a nice little search center in here, but it was installed inside of the cabinet and it was double lugged into these. We learned that we do not have neoprene covers. We learned that our neutral is not wrapped with white tape. And we also learned that our bonding location, which by the way, I bet you I'm gonna find it. I haven't, I haven't found it yet. Keep looking here a little bit. Short legs coming up. There it is, it's hiding right in there. There's your bonding location on the cold water of the water heater. I knew to look there, an electrician will know to look there, but it's supposed to be labeled in here. So we learned that our bonding location wasn't labeled either.